How to make an orange float in water. You know that light objects, float and heavy objects sink in a liquid. But contradicting this fact, you can float an orange in water, although it is heavy. Do this simple activity and see it yourself. Things required. A deep bowl. Water. An unpeeled orange, what to do? Fill in three fourths of the bowl with water. Put the unpeeled orange, in the water and observe what happens to the orange. Then peel off the rind from the orange, and put it back into the water. Observe the orange again. Note down how the orange behaved in water, before and after peeling off its rind. What is happening? An orange with a peel, is actually heavier than an unpeeled orange. Therefore, the heavier orange must sink, and the peeled orange must float. But it is vice versa. The secret lies in the outer covering of the orange or the rind. The rind of an orange, is porous and is filled with tiny air pockets, that contain tapped air. These air pockets make the unpeeled orange less dense than water, and hence they float in water. But when the rind of the orange is removed, the density of the fruit inside is more than the density of water, causing it to sink eventually, do you know? The Greek mathematician Archimedes had realized that for something to float, the density of the liquid, has to be greater than the density of the object. So a simple argument is that if you mix enough bubbles, into a liquid to lower its average density, an object floating in its surface should sink. People have suggested that this process, could be a cause of the mysterious demise of many ships, that sink for no obvious reason.